is Sarah or Waterlily716 and today I'm going to be doing empties videos um, an empties video so whenever I finish a product I just save it to share with you guys so this will be that and this is almost all hair products and one skincare product so yeah if you're interested stay tuned so I'll start off with the skincare it is this Garnier Clean Blackhead Eliminating Scrub which is supposed to unclog pores and clear complexion with charcoal and it says it's for oily skin so um, I pretty much only got like one use out of this I used this and it was okay it was just like a nice cleanser but I did notice that after I used it I got like some small bumps on my nose so maybe it really was clearing my skin and I'd be interested to see what like a full thing of this was it does have salicylic acid in it too so that's good for getting rid of acne and then it has a charcoal which is supposed to like draw the impurities out of your face um, yeah, it didn't feel super gentle but I'd say this is probably a good acne wash if any of you are looking for one so you might try this and then I also tried the Garnier nourishing cleansing oil um, which I'll show you guys on my iPhone it's from Instagram which is the one right here I got a sample of that I got these from clout.com which Sometimes, like, if you sign up and you put in your social media profiles, you'll get, like, little samples or perks, as they call them. But, um, this was okay. I used it to get off some waterproof makeup, and it was just okay. It wasn't that great, um, so I don't think I would repurchase it. But then again, I only, like, tried it once, so, you know. This is, like, a first impression review. Okay, so now, on to the hair products. I used up two co-washes. Um, the first one I used up is the Nubian Heritage Indian Hemp and Tamanu Co-Wash, which looks like this. And I have a full review on this line of products if you're interested on my channel. But this is this is just a nice co-wash. Um, I don't know, I use it on my scalp and I rub my finger pads around and it feels nice and exfoliating. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, but I do say that I kind of prefer the texture of something else I used up for conditioner washing, which is the Suave Naturals. This is the Ocean Breeze scent. I like a lot of the scents. Pink floral one or something. And there's coconut one I like. And I actually heard there's a mango, but I've never seen it in my stores. One of my friends who lives in Mexico has, they have the mango. Have, do you guys have the mango if you're from anywhere in the U.S. or anywhere else that has Suave Naturals? Because I'm curious because I love mango. But anyway, so I used this up. This is probably my favorite co-wash. Just something about the texture is so nice. I don't know what it is. Then I have several conditioners that I used up. First of all, my all-time favorite generic value products conditioning balm is a dupe of the Matrix Biolash Conditioning Balm from Sally's. Looks like this. Used up a bottle. I love this for detangling and moisturizing my hair. And then I also used up the Ulucence Moisture Bouncing Conditioner. This is really cheap off Walmart. It was like eight or ten dollars, so I decided to give it a go. Um, and this was okay. I ended up just using this to co-wash because one wasn't quite enough moisture for me, but the slip was really good. It was really great for detangling. So if you have hair that needs like a medium to light amount of moisture, I would try this. You. Lucent's um, conditioner and all the products will be listed below if you like miss something or I'm talking too fast or you know So you used up some deep conditioners, but for me sometimes I just use deep conditioners like in place of my regular conditioner So, you know, and I used up the curl junkie Two conditioners from them the curl rehab and the hibiscus and banana deep fix um, I like both of these but I like the curl rehab a little more um, the deep fix just doesn't moisturize my hair as much for some reason, but they're both lovely. And these were starting to get old, so I really wanted to use them up. So that's those two. Some other, like, shower stuff that I used up um, is I got these samples in my Curl Mart purchase from a while ago of the Macadamia Natural Oil. I got the Rejuvenating Shampoo and the Deep Repair Mask. Um, and... This rejuvenating shampoo is sulfate free, um, but then there is a silicone, a modimethicone in the moisturizing mask. The mask was okay. It made my hair feel like a little bit softer. It was nice for tangling as far as I remember, but for the price, I'd probably buy Curl Junkie Curl Rehab just because the ingredients on the Curl Junkie Curl Rehab are better and it's a similar price range, so I would just get that personally. Um, and the shampoo, I remember it being like, Kind of nice, um, 
pretty gentle. I don't remember too well, but I did use these up. <laughs> and then I also used up the trial size containers of the Diva Curl One Condition and Diva Curl No Poo. These are also old, so I wanted to use them up. Diva Curl No Poo is like one of my favorite cleansers for the scalp. It smells lemony, and it's a little... I think it's a little tingly. I don't know. It just is really refreshing, and I would buy it if not for the price point. Um, and then the Diva Curl One Condition is not my favorite conditioner. I still have a full review of the Diva Curl line. If you're interested, just search Water Lily 716 Diva Curl up in the YouTube search bar up there. But eh, I'm not a huge fan of it. It's decent for detangling. It's decent for moisture. It's just not my favorite. Um, but they both do smell amazing. I have like this really nice lemon scent. And yeah. Here's the up close packaging if you guys are curious, which is very cute in my opinion. Just like little curly cues. I only have two stylers. It takes me forever to use up styling products. But I used up a bottle of the As I Am Leave In Conditioner. I have a review on two products from this line that's on the channel, and this is just my new favorite leave in conditioner. It's moisturizing, it smells great. Love it. And then, last of all, I have used up one little tub. This is a sample size of Karen's Body Beautiful Super Duper Hydrating Hair Cream. This is my favorite second hair product currently. And yeah, it smells pretty good. Just like a light floral scent, nothing crazy. And it's just a really nice butter either for braid outs or on the second day for giving your hair a little bit more definition and shine. So yeah, I'm going to be buying a full size of this sometime soon. So those are all of my empties for the past couple months, um, and I hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions about the products in this video, please leave them below, although the samples, like, it's kind of hard to get a full opinion on some of those products. Um, and yeah, let me know if you guys like these empties videos, and I'll keep doing them, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! <laughs>